I'm just explaining to Otty that we're going to go and see her sister today. He delivered on the photos, guys. Who knows me best? You make me strong. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everyone. Look at me back in the spare room because it's like less cluttered. <laughs> there is still some clutter. This is the giant air conditioning unit thing that I was talking about. That's one of them anyway. Right, I need to scrub off some of this fake tan now. I think it's like, it's, it's getting to the end of its lifeline. What did I, oh, I just watched a pigeon poo in the tree. That was pleasant. <laughs> yeah, good morning. It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday the 30th of, I was gonna say September, no, nope, August. <laughs> so today is actually quite an exciting day because we are going for an appointment and also I'm having a scan at the same time, which is cool. I love having just as many scans as possible. <laughs> I love like just being able to see the baby and like know that she's growing okay. I think especially, weirdly, even more so this time around because I feel like I'm not thinking about it as much. So it's it's almost like a really nice reminder like, oh, there she is and like she's doing fine. So we have that a bit later on and Otty's actually coming with us to this, which is either going to be chaos or really cute. <laughs> I have no idea. Right, concealer's going on. No surprises there. It is the Collection Concealer. Guys, this month I've really just grabbed the same makeup I always wear, haven't I? I've really not been that adventurous with makeup this month. I just don't have the time. <laughs> Bare Essentials Mineral Foundation. So because Otty's birthday has pretty much lasted two days, <laughs> this morning she woke up and was like, birthday downstairs people everyone and i was like oh um it's actually not your birthday anymore rotty but you can have another birthday that you can have another one for sure but it's not today and i was like oh hadn't anticipated that i think because obviously it was like two days she's woken up today and been like same again <laughs> is everyone waiting for me downstairs are we having like more cake more party rings okay foundation done but yeah how do you explain to to a two-year-old <laughs> that like the celebrations are over now <laughs> she even picked up one of her little party dresses and said birthday dress and i was like like, I mean, you can wear that. It's quite out there just for a regular Wednesday where we're going to a scan. But, guys, Alfie mentioned yesterday that we go away next week. <laughs> and my plan through August was to kind of slowly get a suitcase packed and ready to go. And, or at least, you know, make a start, create a bit of a list for like what to pack to take on holiday. Have I done that? No, no I haven't. Uh, and we go away next week. So, so yeah, I'm like having a bit of a panic about going away and like, am I gonna remember what to pack? And I don't really know what to pack for a toddler. Sun cream, sun hat, swimming costume. Entertainment, toys, things for a flight. She's never been on an airplane before. So I'd really appreciate any toddler's first time on an airplane tips. I feel like I have a very vague idea of some of the things that people have suggested that I've seen in like reels and TikToks. Things like new toys they've never played with before. Otty loves stickers, so I'm gonna take a brand new fresh sticker book. Headphones, I don't know how she's gonna be about the airplane noise. So we're gonna take some headphones that she can plug into like her Amazon Kindle fire thing. I'm gonna load that up with some Paddington Bear episodes. Maybe even some things she's not seen before. Maybe I should put like, I should put a, a collection of her favorite things on there and then also some new things she's not seen. That's probably a good idea. What else have I seen? 
uh, like window stickers and like the fidget spinners on the windows. I think she's a bit old for those fidget spinners now. She's not as like into those. We did have them when she was a bit younger and she liked them, but I think she's just a bit too old for those now. But I think window stickers might be a good shout. But also we are going with Alfie's family. So there'll be a few of us. We can all have a go. <laughs> at keeping her entertained if that's what's needed. But yeah, I just I just have no idea how it's gonna be. I'm also kind of nervous about it from my own standpoint. I've not been on an aeroplane since 2019, as I've said before, and I do not find them easy to do. And I definitely feel like I'm at a place of my anxiety since my first trimester now where things have really improved and I'm definitely noticing that I can like live my life a little bit more normally, <laughs> like how I was before. But even when my anxiety was at a really good base level, I always found airports and flying just like so, so hard. <laughs> And it like, it took a really long time to get to a point where I think the last flight I did, I was actually like kind of enjoying it. And then COVID happened and now I've not been on an airplane in a really long time. And I just think it's gonna have set me back a bit. And I don't know how that will be in an airport and flying situation with a toddler. Will the toddler be a great distraction or will it like emphasize that I'm just doing a terrible job at being a parent because I can't get the anxiety like out of my brain. <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like there's enough of us that will get Ossie on the plane and get me on the plane. <laughs> We're gonna get there. I will keep you updated um, for anyone that's like in a similar position to me. I feel like there's quite a few of you watching this that like totally get it and that is very reassuring for me so thank you for always being like i'm the same because i love that but i don't love that for us but i love that for us if that makes sense <laughs> you just don't know until you get there and that's the very unpredictable thing about anxiety <laughs> it's like it kind of lives in your head rent free and like will just pop up whenever it wants but i'm getting there whether everyone has to drag me on that plane <laughs> crying <laughs> i'm still getting there because i'm really excited about our holiday and just like being away with otty she's obviously never been on an airplane or she's never been like she's never been to a different country i feel like i've gone quite heavy on the makeup today <laughs> you know when you go to put your mascara wand back in and it slips done just thinking then i don't think i need to give any blood test like blood samples today but i don't know for sure i can't remember if i do or not oh i kind of hope i don't <laughs> you know when you need to like i just feel like i need to like mentally prepare for that i just stay hydrated just in case <laughs> right oh hair let's see how we go in i think let's just give this a brush with a wide tooth comb and i reckon we're good one of the things i love so much about having extensions is once they've been like washed and styled they kind of hold the style so much better than my natural hair does so i don't really have to do a lot which is why in the end i was like although it takes me slightly longer to wash and style them it saves me so much time in the long run because i can like wake up and brush through or maybe just like add literally like one or two little curls back and apart from that, I'm good. I don't know what they're doing out on the road, but I do apologize if you've just heard like, <laughs> mostly like a worker van thing <laughs> through this whole chat. It's nice, a little bit of background noise, lovely. Right, I am ready for the day. Do you want me to show you my outfit quick? We've just got white t-shirt and then like this green knit stretchy skirt from Mango next to the aircon unit. Lovely. <laughs> oh, I feel like as the month has gone on, these outfit of the days have just got worse and worse. But yeah, I'm done. I'm all sorted. So I'm gonna go downstairs and grab some breakfast now. Um, we're just having a little cuddle, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just explaining to Otty that we're gonna go and see her sister today, aren't we? And where is your sister? A tummy, mummy tummy. In mummy's tummy. Are we going to see her on the television screen? 
Are we? Yeah. Do you remember they put that thing on Mummy's tummy and then we could see Baby last time? Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. I do love that you still like to give me a cuddle. Mm. You're giving your sister a cuddle? Yeah. Where is she? Mummy tummy. She's in here, look. Uh. In there. Yeah. <laughs> is that comfortable? You've got your own little ledge. Yeah. <laughs> Lottie was actually laying on me yesterday and the baby was really moving and kicking. And I didn't say anything because I was like, she won't understand. Mm. But I did think, what are you spitting out? Do you have a hair in your mouth? No. No? Okay, sorry. Can you feel baby moving? Did you feel that? Yeah. <gasps> She's kicking you. She's saying, get off. Yeah, and she was really kicking Otty. And I was like, I wonder if she can feel that. She probably doesn't know that that's what it is. She's actually kicking her again now. I think she can hear you. Daddy. Oh, he snuck off there. <laughs> she said she needed a cuddle. Yes. Didn't so you? She said to me, she was like, mommy, cuddle. I was like, I'll give you a cuddle. She was like, no, no mommy. No, mommy. <laughs> yeah. She also wanted a mommy I cuddle, didn't have you? Have an old... that, Daddy? For some reason, I have our um, seven week scan next oh, to the bed and this fell on the floor no, yesterday and Otty was like oh, baby oh baby on floor and she picked it up and put it back on my bedside table did you hear it then? no so do you not want to go on me she pushed me hurt no mummy <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not very nice for daddy, nice for daddy. <laughs> no cuddle for daddy <laughs> give me a big cuddle Otty guess who's coming later oh. guess who's coming Try and guess. Try and guess who's coming to the house. Poppy. Not Poppy. Do you remember who who I said is coming round today? Who bought you the sloth and the duck? Ma. Yeah, it was Mark. Do you want him to come over Pop tonight? And Poppy. And Poppy. <laughs> and Naughty. Did you guys do something together, did you, the three of you? Yeah. What did you get up to? We're done. <laughs> I've snuck into Otty's room. And I'm gonna try, before we have to leave, to fold as many of her clothes as possible because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's been a busy couple of weeks, or week or so. When did I last put her clothes away? Quite a while. This basket of washing is overflowing. <laughs> I don't know how we are going to do this with Otty's clothes and baby grows. <laughs> How how is how is this possible guys? I feel like it could be one of those things where I just have to accept the fact that I'm going to be spending a lot of my time now folding tiny clothes. <laughs> but it's got to be done and when it's done it's just so satisfying. Anyway, yes, Mark is coming over later. It's very very exciting. We have a really fun day planned for tomorrow. Is this a bit backlit? Is that better? Can you see me better here? We have a really fun day planned for tomorrow. A little hint, all I'm gonna say is ding dong merrily on high. <laughs> Snow is falling all around. Children playing, having fun. Tis the season. So we're gonna do that and that's gonna be great. And it's the last day of vloggers, so I felt like it would be a fun one to end the month on but yeah he's coming over later we're actually gonna watch a film which i'm very excited about i just i love sitting down and watching films of mark because we're both such film buffs i just really enjoy like watching new things with him like it's really fun and we've not watched a new film together in a while so very very excited as you guys know i work with sky cinema and this month they have three new very exciting additions to their Sky Cinema movie list, which as we already know is endless and has so much amazing variation and so many incredible options. I genuinely don't know what I would do if I didn't have Sky Cinema. You know me, I love to put something on in the evenings. So the first new film they have is A Man Called Otto, which I think is the film that we're gonna watch tonight starring Tom Hanks. So I believe this film is about a kind of grumpy old man, which is Tom Hanks, who plays Otto, who um, has sadly lost his wife, and that's just meant that he's in a little bit of a 
kind of slump in life and then a family moves in nearby and they completely change his world and kind of like open his eyes to like what the world still has available and i love films like that just like you know like really nice kind of wholesome hearty films so i think that might be the one that we opt for I, I i mean i love tom hanks i don't think i've ever seen a film with tom hanks in it that i didn't love and i've heard great things about this so i think that might be the one that we go for then there's a film called maggie moore's which also does sound quite up my street it's a bit more of a crime film it stars tina fey and john ham and he's the detective and i think he kind of falls for her and she kind of gets involved in trying to help solve the mystery um so that also did sound quite up my street too but i'll watch that another time i think and the last film which i'm not gonna lie is not my usual go-to film but i have heard incredible things about it is the dungeons and dragons film called um honor among thieves I know that there's a lot of people very excited about this film so if that is a little bit more up your street that is available also on sky cinema also don't forget that sky have their monthly pop-ups and this month it is adventure so you've got films like charlie and the chocolate factory the minions basically just loads of like great classics but yeah i'm really excited i'm gonna i'm gonna do my microwave popcorn do you remember i bought that like weeks ago i still haven't opened it but i'm gonna get the microwave popcorn out i've bought us some ben and jerry's and then obviously i can give you like my full review after we've watched it but as always guys check the link below to see everything new that is out on sky cinema at the moment because i can almost guarantee you there will be something that you will absolutely love and be so happy that you've been introduced to if like me you love your films right i'm gonna sit and carry on folding for as long as i can how long have we got mm, we haven't got long we've got another 10 minutes i've managed to do quite a few i don't know if there's an easier way of me doing this i roll i'm like a roller because i feel like you can get more in then and i like that you can really see what it is that you're folding and rolling and then we're gonna head out to go to the scan so I will see you there, depending on if I can film anything whilst we're there. But fingers crossed everything's okay. Yeah, I'm just excited to see baby. And also, fingers crossed I don't need to do a blood sample. Because <laughs> I'm just not mentally prepared for that today. Quite like to just go for my appointment and also just have a nice scan and then come home again. <laughs> but we shall see. Just told her we're leaving to go to the scan. So she's picked up my seven week scan to bring with her. <laughs> Yeah, this one. Perfect. Yeah. Gonna go and see baby again. She's gonna be much bigger than in that picture. Yeah. Yeah, she's gonna be so much bigger. Isn't she? Hi, Winnie the Pooh. Hi, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Strange noise coming. You ready? What's that? That's baby. That's baby. Do you want to hear baby laugh? Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Ready? <gasps> later but realized we've not updated you on the scan i don't think we filmed anything you got a couple of bits but i don't know if i don't know if i shot them i think i just filmed them on my phone in the wrong way i wasn't <laughs> thinking about the vlog i'm not gonna lie i was just in like capture the moment personal capture moment so there might have been a clip you've just seen or there might not we had our favorite sonographer and he delivered on the photos guys he went, Can you tell he went why hard. he's our favourite sonographer? <laughs> he's actually not our favourite because he goes hard on the photos. He's just really, really lovely. And we had him with Otty actually. Um, so it was really nice. And we took Otty along him. with us. And it was so nice for yeah, him to meet Otty. Yeah, he seeing Otty. And he was like, oh my gosh, this baby looks so much like Otty did. And I agree actually. Looking at some of these, I do think she looks like Otty. It's oh, hard definitely. to tell. Definitely. She also didn't really want to show her face. Which you is can the kind of, of see. Yeah, Otty was, like was like ready and raring to go. The biggest poser. He turned on the 3D, which I always love. 
Because I'm like, you could see them I really moving. She's, yeah, when she's this size, you can like properly That looks see like Otty. Look at her there, her mouth Otty. open. Otty, Otty, Otty. Same lips as Alfie, same bottom lip as you and Otty. I Otty's think she's got, got the same top lip. lip as me, this yeah. baby. Definitely not as willing to pose though. No, she wasn't. With Otty, you'd take one, like, turn the 3D on once, and she'd she literally was there, like be, this. like, arms up, leaning down, like, <laughs> posing for the camera. This baby's like... Hands up to face. Get out, get out she of the face. She was properly like, oh. But he did manage to catch some in the end. <laughs> Took a few. about 40 pictures. Oh, so these ones are cute. One, I haven't seen these ones. He got one of her mouth open and her know, tongue came out. There. Which is always weird when you see a baby's tongue come out in a scan. Because you see so much more of the tongue. You see like the tongue from like in here. Right where it starts. Yeah, so it's like blah. <laughs> but yeah, it was cute. But and you were saying good. as well that as she was moving in this, like when we were trying to... Sorry, I feel like I'm out of the shot. Yeah, but not, let me just no, move. It's, no, it's because Nala's literally jumped in the middle <laughs> down here. So I can't move over. He was trying to get pictures of her on the 3D to show us. You were like, I can feel her doing that yeah. within me at that given time. And what was really cool. interesting, I feel like every time I go to a scan, they tell me her this position one. has changed, which obviously makes sense because they move around all the time until they get so big that there's less space. But currently, you know how I was saying, I just feel like she's here and there's just like a new level of uncomfortableness like higher up because her bum is now here. Her head is now here mm. and her feet are now here. So she's in like, she's kind of curled round basically. She's in like a triangle shape. So I've got her bum like sitting by my stomach and my ribs, um, which makes so much sense. Just keeping it nice and comfortable. Yeah, she is so comfy. <laughs> but yeah, her head is like down here. Which you know when I get that funny shaped bump? Yeah, yeah. That's her head. Well, it must be, but then... Or unless the bump's this side, then it could be like her heel. Whoa, did she just kick now? No, she hasn't. She's asleep now, I think. Oh, I thought I just felt. Amazing. She's been kicking. Are you finished? Are you finished? Okay, we're back. Ooh. But yeah, oh. it was a really nice experience. And what, who did you see? You saw baby. baby. Oh yeah, I'll come back in a minute. Yeah, look, you play with your rocket. Yeah, go on then. Go and jump on your rocket. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Oh. We might have to cut him Woo! on and off in the, in the camera a little bit because Otty's currently just running around. <laughs> Just in, in a, a nappy. Yeah. But yeah, baby's all good, measuring all good, all on track. You're all good. This time they I'm also all good. They measured me. your blood flow around you, not just the baby. Yeah. Which I don't think we've ever had done before, and that went really well, like just as good yeah. as possible. So all in all, just a great appointment. Didn't have to really good. Didn't have to do a blood test. Do have to do one next time though. Baby girl is getting chubbier. Which is so cute. Her little hands, gorgeous. I'm so tired. Mark's gonna be here soon. <gasps> yes. Yay! Yeah. Mark's, Mark's gonna come gonna and play. Mark's gonna be here. Do you want him to read you a bedtime story? Yeah. Yeah? That's our little scan update. Hope you loved it. See you in a bit. So I was just going through a couple of little worky bits on my phone and going through emails and stuff and I just wanted to quickly, briefly chat to you about, whoa prop you back up and i wanted to briefly chat to you about a couple of things um two of which i have been working on for many many years but i feel like i don't often get to sit down and like really chat to you about it and it is really exciting and it's one of those things that's always being worked on behind the scenes and that is template and film so template is what i've been using every day to make these to post on my stories which is the thumbnail for the video and then the little snippet that you see I use it all the time. Template has basically packs of templates, everything you could ever want. This is the Gemma Styles template pack, which is one of my favorites. She um, did a collaboration with Template and she absolutely killed it. There's so many on here and i do feel like a lot of you watching probably already know about film and template because they've been around for many years now um, and i'm one of the founders of the companies we've got poppy's pack which again is delightful there's basically a template 
for anything. You can post on stories, you can post a feed, you can make galleries, everything you could ever want um, to make your photos look aesthetic AF basically and i'm always using this on my instagram i do get quite a few questions that's like how are you making this and like what are you using to create these kind of scrapbook effects with your photos and it is always template guys and now we have template premium which is specifically for brands or um content creators that kind of want to elevate um their posts even more than what template currently offers so you can get access to all the templates all the stickers all the fonts they're all available for commercial use so you can use those with your brands with your companies or with your small businesses um you've got the ability to add your own logos and your own color schemes into it as well which is very very useful you can get rid of all the watermarks so you can post without any kind of like template branding around it. It can be literally your own branding, which I know for a lot of people is like super important. And it's all ready to publish to social media. So if that sounds up your street, definitely check it out. The team have put so much work behind both of these apps. Um, the second also being film. For any video I ever post, any reel, any insta story where there's kind of like a montage of clips together i have always done it in film you can film clips on your phone add them in it's so super easy it has so many filters i'll show you what it looks like so you've got you can add text you can add filters effects you can edit the clips you can put all the clips together you can have um transitions between the clips the possibilities are endless if you love creating little like mini movies or kind of more visual movie scrapbooks then you will love film equally you can save video from film and open it in template and like create cool borders and make it look cool that way too but i just wanted to like give film and template a little mention because i um i feel like i don't do that enough and i was just sat here using it and creating actually some um sponsored stories with film that i've already posted by the time you've watched this but i was just sat making it and i was just like i just i love this app so much and i just feel so lucky to be one of the creators of the app so definitely go and check it out i'll leave a link to template and film below and if template premium sounds like something that would be really useful to you if you are social media marketing or you are a content creator with some branding or you're a small business then definitely check that out too and then the other thing that i just saw in my emails is that the pearl items where is it here it is the pearl items are now back in stock on carrie elizabeth website so go 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 um i believe they're already selling quite quickly <laughs> so I, they've just gone up and i've just had a message to be like they're going quite quick so i thought i would quickly mention it here for anyone that did want to go and get either the bracelet or the necklace they're back in stock guys i hope you don't mind me sharing those but i do get very excited about all the collaborations and um companies that i work in and are a part of so thought i would share that with you too um now just waiting for mark to arrive we plane are we going on a plane soon yeah we settle into our seats and fasten our seat belts and then it's time to take off to the skies look how excited nala gets when mark <laughs> arrives not that we don't all get that excited yeah, but you know <laughs> this reminds me of when we were watching was it Love Island? All three of us sat here, we were watching Love Island. No, and I... we filmed us watching it. Was it Love Island or was it Strictly? No, I remember the clip in the old house when we were laying, we were sat in bed. Squidneater. Some... Squidneater. Oh, Master Chef. Yeah, we were watching yeah. Marcus on Master Chef. Don't you try and sneak a pee? Oh my God, I should have done then. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> <laughs> so I had an idea earlier. We've not done this in a really long time. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be good to do like an updated version mm -hmm. of how well do you both know me? Who knows me best? Do you think? Yeah. Am I, and what do I win? I know well, you're not going to win. So you're not going to win anything. Oh, all right. Come you don't win that. anything. Just, just the, pride the pride of knowing <laughs> that you know me the best. Okay. <laughs> 
what kind of topics, what kind of categories? They're very varied. I've only got six questions. Um, okay. Are you just cheating then? No. <gasps> are you cheating? Did you look. Don't Why is just like this? Push that back. <gasps> okay. I would say in my life, you two know me the best out of anyone I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, this should be really easy. Well, they're saying that. I feel like there could be, like, somebody that's been watching for... That's true. 14 years. That's that true. Is up there. That could also answer all these questions. I did yeah. used to be a fan. That's now. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> You're not a fan anymore? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mark. Oh, here we go. How many of Vloggers videos have you watched? Um, no. now, don't be lying now. No, I would never don't lie to you. Now. How I've, many? I've literally watched, like, 20. Stop. Yeah. That's so have, many. I've watched all the way through. Yeah, of course. Aww. Oh, I've watched so many. I was only joking, you don't have to watch them blind. Oh my god, of course. So just obviously write your answers in your notes because I don't want any cheating. Okay. Yeah. I would know. Oh, are okay. we doing one question answer, one question yeah. answer? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. First question. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What are the two things I will always order from a room service menu if they are available? Oh no, Zoe. If I got this wrong, I'd genuinely be so upset. The amount of times when I'm travelling, you're like, please yeah. send me your room service menu. And then I always say what I would order. But that's off of that room service menu. Yeah, yeah, okay. So what what, what hotel are we saying though? Any hotel I go to, if they've got these two things, I'm ordering them. I don't know you. You do? I do. I love that you're Wait, writing. Wait, are you writing? Yeah. What are you writing? He's typing. I'm just doing a little type. Oh, I'm... <laughs> Okay, ready? Three. Mark's treating like a whiteboard. <laughs> Three, two, one. Who are we showing? Mash and Marg Pizza. Margarita Pizza and Mashed Potato. You are both correct. <laughs> I didn't you know that. That's so funny. <laughs> if they have both of those things, I'm a happy gal. Would you ever put mash on a margarita pizza? Oh, I do it all the time. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I spread it on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. Didn't know that about you. What has been my main pregnancy craving with this baby? Oh, I've said it on craving. socials. I've said it in videos. I've edited you live the with videos me. and I don't know. You live with me. You know what I've eaten a lot of this pregnancy. Something that I would normally not really eat that much of. Come on, Mark, you've watched 20 vloggers videos. You? <laughs> you've edited 31. <laughs> oh man. Is it like a snack or so a meal or a drink? Hard. Is it a beverage? No. no, it's not a beverage. Oh man, this is tough. You said it on Instagram, Instagram stories. Yeah. I can picture it. You took a photo of it and you put it on your bed. I feel like people in the comments are going to be rapid on this. I feel like even and your the fact mom, that we don't know. Your mum will know straight away. I want to say something that is true, but it's not going to be the answer that you're and that something you've got. You wouldn't eat if you was. Um, I I mean I would eat it, but it's not. I've eaten a, it a lot more than normal. Oh my god, I don't know. You both look so somber right now. Like Alfie's like literally leaned out of shot. I'm shore. genuinely so like, gutted that I yeah, don't know no. this. <laughs> I feel like I should know it. I feel like I should Especially know it. Especially because you edited my pregnancy update and I said it in it. I'm just gonna say this, I know it's not right. I'm, this is not right either. Oh, I'm so annoyed at myself because I know that this isn't right. Three, two, one. No. Jeremy Dodgers. Rebels, no. Is it a sweet? It's nice. not sour sweets, is it? Chocolate eclairs, eclairs. Oh, like you oh. haven't had those in a couple of weeks. Are you kidding me? You haven't had any in the fridge for a month. How many have eclairs have I eaten in not, the last Not in the week? last month. I'm telling you, that is my thing that I've wanted to eat. Gutted. This should be a really easy one for both yeah. of you. Okay. What is my middle name? Oh. <laughs> do you know this? Yeah, I do. Do I? Well, I don't know, do you? Just write whatever you think. Yeah, I've, I've wrote it. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Yes! Well done! Um, it felt right, but Did I was just like... At first I put Leanne. <laughs> Did you? Oh, I'm not actually saying the answers, am I? Yeah, I did. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Zoe Elizabeth Sugg. Yeah. Yeah. What is my worst kind of holiday? <laughs> Your worst kind of this holiday? This actually breaks my heart into thousands of pieces. 
my worst year. If you said you'd booked me this holiday, I wouldn't go on it. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh Mark, no, you got Mark it! Got it. <laughs> would you rather go? I would. You would rather go on a clubbing holiday than a cruise. Yes, a cruise. Oh would my be god, horrible. let's go Ibiza. Would you would rather go to Ibiza clubbing than a cruise. Let's go Zante. Yes. Alfie, a boat, a boat, a boat for the whole holiday. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Nah. You, well, you just wouldn't get on it. <laughs> Even in, in Ibiza, I could go to the club for like an hour and then go home again. Oh, oh dear, oh I dear. Days. How do you not oh, know no. that? I, was nearly, in I nearly put like sporting, like hiking. Holiday. I knew your brain but was, I was like, going to sport. I was like, if you did a hiking holiday, you'd, you would prefer that than being in a club. A okay. cruise, I didn't even think of cruise. What is my favourite smell in the whole entire world? Mark's just Mr. Perfume though, so that's just cheating. Ooh, okay. Smell. It doesn't have to be a yeah, perfume. Yeah, yeah. It's just a, a smell, a general smell that is my favourite smell. Nearly at the end. Oh, I wish I had more. This is so. This fun. is wrong. I've lost another one. I can't Alfie, believe it. No. I even said what my favourite smell was the other day. I know. If this, if it's not this. Okay. Ready. Oh no. I don't even want to turn it. Three, two, one. Look at Mark. I know, I know. <laughs> I know. Well, that's a really cute answer. That is a really cute answer. <laughs> so Mark put bonfire, which is my favourite smell, which I lit. How many I days ago I did I say that to yeah. you? I was trying to think of perfumes. Well, you say it all the time. All <laughs> the time. I live in the countryside. Bonfire. <laughs> and you've put Otty's newborn baby clothes, which is probably my second favourite smell, yeah. to be fair. We smelled some the other day. Okay, and, and then the last the one. The world. What Wait, is? so Mark's winning. Mark's You're winning. two up on me. Mark's so I can't even win two. now. No. So I can't. Well, no, this is winner takes all. <laughs> what? This is winner takes all question. <laughs> and the winner takes it all. Um, oh, as if I didn't get that. Those, those last two. Mm. I should have got. I'm just a bit tired, guys. Oh, yeah. I'm a bit tired. My brain's a bit right. frazzled. Last question. What is my favourite One Direction song? Oh. Oh. Oh, you said this the other day in the car. We had it on in the car, and you were like, "This is my favorite one. This oh. is actually my favorite song." I wasn't in the car, but we have listened to a lot of One D together. We do, but then I think I also did do the flow chart, which <coughs> I sent to you. Remember? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm torn. I put two. Yeah, I'll let you have. There is one that's that is probably my favourite, but there is one that's a very close second. So you get three points if you get my actual fave, and you get one point if you get my second fave. So I write down your second just in case. Yeah. Yeah, I put first and second. Okay. Three, two, one. You Better and I. Words. Neither of those is my favourite song. You and I. That's my <gasps> second favourite. You get a point for that. Little things. No. I put Little Things as number two. The other day in the car, we were listening to Better Than Words. No, we it were It was. Not. No, Alfie. And I'm going to tell you what it was, and you're going to... Happier. Be... No. Story of my life. Stronger. You make me strong. No. <laughs> 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 I've got it. This oh, is no. It. Okay, what is it? It is... Oh, let me, let me have a look. Best song ever. No. Um, right, right now, now. Right. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's the one I God. said. Yeah, you did. That is you a did. gorgeous song, isn't it? Yeah. It's so underrated. I literally remember yeah. you saying that. That's now. my favourite song. I didn't. Like and then that. you and I is my second yeah. favourite. So you do get a point so you've got for a that. Point. So you beat me. Better than three words. Points. Well, because so here's what it was. Better <laughs> words. Oh, I don't need a money pound in a. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we were listening to the album. And I was like, I know that it wasn't one of the ones yeah. that's super obvious. Mm. Yeah. And I yeah. know we listen to Better Than Words. So I was album. like, yeah, so I was like, I think it's Better Than Words. It's not. But it wasn't. Right Now is great. Oh, that's quite embarrassing. 3 0. Right Now, isn't it? 3 0? You beat me by three points. What's nil? Zero. Yeah. You haven't got any right. No, no it's no. not nil. It's no, just but it's you, you got three up on me. Got three up oh, on got you, got you. Well, thanks very much, guys. Not even uh, 18. I think the only thing I've, I've realised from this is that you don't actually listen to me. 
<laughs> and on that note, you I'm going to leave it. You know it. It's in there. It's in there somewhere, but there's a lot in there. Yeah, because all those things I feel like you, I've said out yeah. loud in the last week. And all those mm. little things. <laughs> You're like, mm. We've had a busy week. Bye. It's movie time, guys. Man Called Otto. Alfie's already seen this. So you're probably going to go and edit, are you? I'm going to go get the shower. Okay. I feel just right. a bit hot in here with the jumper on. Is it warm? I feel like I've got on some like, cozy clothes. Yeah. I'm boiling always. Yeah. yeah. I was going to make some popcorn. Really? Yeah, I was going to actually... Do we have popcorn? I was going to see if you would make some for me, actually. Do we have any? Yeah, I bought that microwave box. Do you remember? Mm. After you ate my cinema popcorn, I had a real, like, <laughs> craving for oh, it. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> You ready? I'm ready, honey. Do you want a little throw? You probably don't, do you? Because you're probably boiling off. Yeah. I'm all comfy, thank you. <gasps> oh, I want you two sets of goods. <gasps> Cookies. Oh. oh. I just baked them fresh. You did? Box them up. Oh my god, that popcorn. Oh my god. Watch the steam, that's really hot. Oh my god. not gonna lie i very nearly fell asleep but we've just finished watching the film and it was so good no i really enjoyed it tom hanks is just such an amazing actor as well yeah i just love tom hanks i was saying like he's just a part of everyone's childhood i think and he was a really nice film quite heavy um themes quite heavy themes but also very like wholesome and like heartwarming at the same time yeah i love the music thomas newman yes the music was great um, highly recommend guys if you would like a film in an evening it was very cute this is what i call a sunday night film yes it is isn't it yeah. like, a, like a kind of cozy character driven film yeah easy to watch easy to watch i love i said i love the dynamics between all the neighbors yeah it's very cute um yeah definitely worth a watch are you proud of me for staying awake i actually am you did really well Thank i didn't have you. to nudge you once i know <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't eat all the popcorn oh, no, still no. got some popcorn left you have that for brekkie i know right I'm going to end the video here, guys, and we will see you tomorrow. What an exciting day we've got tomorrow, eh? We've got the best day ever planned. If you could give a little hint to what tomorrow is, what would you just, what would you say? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. It's going to be a goodie. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you tomorrow for the final instalment of Vlogist. Thumbs up if you think Zoe and Alfie should do September first. Oh. <laughs> should we just start again on the first of September? Imagine. Can you imagine? Um, <laughs> no, we're going on holiday. We are going on holiday. But yeah, thanks so much and good night, everybody. Bye.